The word that best describes autumn to me is fleeting. You need to pay attention during this season or you're liable to miss it. So I wanted to take this time to take you on a quick tour around the garden to show you the autumn views while they're still here. Here in Southeast Michigan, it feels like just yesterday spring arrived in the garden. And here we are, the end of another beautiful garden season. Everything is surrounded in a golden hue because all the leaves are changing. And I'm amazed at how quickly this view outside the front window changes. This season, I'm making a concerted effort to soak up all the beautiful colors that autumn has to offer. Back in June, you could see that the Japanese forest grass was bright yellow underneath the front garden Japanese maple. Now when you look at it, everything is a little bit muted and there's a little purple tinge in the Japanese forest grass. The Japanese maple bloodgood is still holding its deep burgundy color, but if you take a look at the lace leaf Japanese maple in the front border, you'll notice that it's starting to turn that brilliant red tone that make Japanese maples a favorite in the autumn garden. This week, I cut back the remaining zinnias in the front garden to bring them inside for the coffee table. Zinnias are annuals and they'll die back after the first hard frost. So I try to keep the front garden a little bit neater and I pulled up the zinnias and the marigolds because they were looking a little rough. I have this great reblooming yellow iris that I got from my mom's garden. Some years it gets frosted, but this season I found a stem. When I was bringing it back into the garden, I noticed that there was a bee hiding inside. It was so cold, so I decided I'd just put the stem back in the garden. One tree that looks amazing this year is the Eastern Red Bud that's planted along the side of the property. I bought this tree as a little baby sapling. I get such a kick out of looking up into its branches to see how big it's grown. Now that the leaves have started falling, I've gotten out the lawnmower because I never bag up my leaves. What I do is I use the mulching mower to mulch the leaves back into the grass. And when the leaves are so thick that the mulching mower doesn't work, I'll put the bag attachment on and I'll shred up the leaves and add them as top dressing to my borders. The leaves are great for building up healthy soil. As we walk into the backyard, you can still see the bright yellow blooms of the Corydalus lutea. This shade-loving plant has been blooming since May. It is a fantastic plant for the garden. As we walk along the path into the backyard, you'll notice the Japanese forest grass is still really bright yellow here. This is the same variety that I have in the front yard, and I think it's because it's a little bit warmer in the backyard that we don't see that purple tinge. There's great fall color in the back garden, and the patio containers are still holding on. This season, one of my favorite container plants was this angel-winged begonia. And at the end of the season, I noticed that it started to go to seed, which honestly, I never really thought too much of. So earlier this season in September, I grabbed the seeds and I put them into a small little pot of soil. And I am so excited. They actually have started germinating, if you can believe that. The predominant color in the backyard garden is yellow. Most of the trees turn yellow, except for we do have two beautiful Japanese maples that'll turn a super bright red. And this year, we also have this viburnum plant that has this great purple leaf. I love this tree. It matches the purple stems of the variegated dogwood. And you can see here, I still have the fountain, but I decided today that the fountain needs to be put away. So before I started getting the fountain ready, I decided I'd grab a cup of coffee and maybe do a little project out in the backyard just to appreciate the sunshine. I was really just looking for an excuse to be outside. I grabbed a bunch of bright yellow leaves that have fallen from the weeping cherry tree. Last year, I made this really cool image by placing these leaves into the shape of a circle using an embroidery hoop. I now remember why I did the photos inside once the wind started blowing. And even though my project really didn't get anywhere because the leaves ended up blowing away, I still enjoyed every minute of being out.
favorite autumn activities is gathering up seeds. So the seeds that you see in this photograph are rose campion seeds, and then the ones that I'm playing with right now are actually larkspur seeds. So I made sure that I collected these seeds so that I'll have them for next season. And one of the fun little things I discovered this season is these little metal trays that I use for beads actually work perfectly for getting the seeds into the tiny little bags. Another super fun thing in the autumn garden is this praying mantis that I named David Carradine. David Carradine was the star of a show called Kung Fu, which I thought made the perfect name for a praying mantis. I was amazed at how perfectly camouflaged this insect was. He absolutely made me laugh the way he turned his head. So as I was looking through my photos, it absolutely seems like it was just spring yesterday. But here I am in the garden. It's the end of garden season, and I'm just trying to soak in all the beauty. And even though everything looked so pretty in the summer, I have to admit that it really looks beautiful in the fall as well. I'd have to say that the one thing that the garden has taught me is how to be in the moment. So now that it's fall, I'm going to try to enjoy all of the beauty. When it was summer, I was trying to look at all of the blooms, and now that it's fall, I'm trying to appreciate all of the beautiful leaf colors. I am so thankful that I have my garden. I know I've shared the view that I think our gardens are more than just pretty flowers. Our gardens provide the perfect place to escape from the stresses of the daily world. The one thing I will be doing is praying for peace in this world. Leave me a comment and let me know how you're doing in your fall garden. That's it for this video, friends. I'll see you in the next one. Turning heads to see